Welcome to Bury the Needle podcast episode four. Today we're going to have a special guest from Border City Inc. Andrew. We're just waiting for him to sort out his shit on his end. Anyway, I'm sitting here with uh, Oliver, Trevor, Josiah, and Corey. And Rocco is zooming in from East Van. What's up, Rocco? Good, good, Malcolm. Just uh, sitting at home quarantined until uh, January 2nd. All right. Allowing all the people that want to bust their heads open to fucking run around till then. Yeah. <laughs> then they'll be quarantined themselves. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. I got another four days to be an asshole in 2020, so I'm going to take advantage. <laughs> And then after that, I'm going to be a bastard for 2021. How you doing, Malcolm? Good all the time, brother. Yeah. Surviving. You, you got the wrecking crew with you today. That's right. Yeah. Full house tonight. Full table. We in here. All over. All over. Not that vibration. Heavy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that bury the needle shit. So shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> that, that'd be Oliver. Fucking it's, uh, sarcasm. Podcast. It's dark. He's, he's tattooing uh, a nut. The baby. <laughs> yeah. So Andrew does know that we're we're going live today, right? Yeah, he's aware. I sent him a message on Instagram. Uh huh. He has I'm Zoom, I presume. <laughs> Who's this? That's right. So get out there and share it up. Share yeah, up that link. Share yeah, it up. Uh, What's up, uh, Brother Bear in the chat room? Jay Stewart. Brother Bear. Aston, greetings. Yeah, all he's, all he's doing a live tattoo on a baby, so share this post right now. Make sure everybody. Please. Yeah, please. Tattooing <laughs> baby live right now. <laughs> tattoo infants. Oh, people are going to freak out and we're going to get canceled. Exactly, right? Yeah, it's going to be offensive. <laughs> hey, but uh, Malcolm, let me tell you guys something about tattooing when I uh, went down to uh, the old shop where Jimby and yeah. Oliver, along with yeah. Kyle, used to tattoo down at Gravel Street. Eh? So I walk in there, and I'm just sitting there because I have Jimby and Oliver tattooing East Van Crosses on me, right? Yeah. Well, when I sat there, just the fucking racket that went on down there, like sit down, surround wrap. The place is always like the area that those three work always were sterilized. That's about as far as I'll go with that shop. <laughs> but at the end of the day, but at the end of the day, it's funny because Oliver be like, yeah, that guy comes in, he's all fucking, you know, he had a few drinks, right? My shop, I got rules, but when you have a shop in the middle of Gravel Street, downtown Vancouver, you're open till two in the morning. You're tattooing anything, okay? Yeah, and I tell you something. It's yeah. whatever you have in your pocket. Well, you only got 50 bucks. Sit down. I'll tattoo you. <laughs> so anyways, all of our tattoos, this fucking guy, he wants a cross in the middle of his fucking forehead. Right there. Right? So you guys know that at my shop, at East Van Inc., uh, we're a tattoo company. I do the laser removal. So we get a phone call. The guy goes, yeah, I want to remove a, a cross. And I'm answering the phone. He goes, yeah. He goes, I go, where is it? He goes, it's between my eyes and my forehead. I go, the guy go, you didn't by any chance get that tattoo on Gravel Street. <laughs> it was, it was the fucking guy. Oh my God, I said. Okay, uh, Andrew said you never sent him the link. Uh, he sent. Tell him to check his Instagram. Hold on, I'm just chit chatting. Great. But anyways, that was funny, eh? <laughs> fucking here you have fucking a month later, the guy wants a laser. So I tell people over and over again, when it comes to tattooing, do your research. But I'm saying stuff like that, you don't do research for. It's called spare of the moment tattoos. You get those in Vegas nah. or on fucking Granville Street downtown, okay? And right. I, I personally think that artists that do stuff like that are a little bit irresponsible, okay? Don't take it, don't take it personal, Oliver. I was never big on responsibility. I just say, at the end of the day, I would never take advantage of somebody unless they knew how to speak English. Okay? And I'm not being... I'm talking English, meaning that, yes, I do understand the tattoo I'm getting, okay? Yeah. Me comprende, mijo? If I, if I join audio... Who's that sure. fucking pezzo de culo? You could try, yeah. What up to uh, Mike on the Facebook comments there? 
He says, hey, Malcolm, Rocco, Ollie, and YT. What up? What's going on, Mike? What up? Is that Brother Bear? Mike Cook? Mike the Cook. Mike the Chef. And Corey. That's right. Don't forget Josiah in the back. Yeah, and JoJo in the back. The man in black in the back. He does it all now. Josiah's a hidden. Josiah. (laughs) I'm trying to... (laughs) Fuck. I'm trying to remember the access up password for Instagram. I fucking locked myself out. It's probably something to do with with tampons and snorkels. (laughs) This ain't good. It's nothing sacred, man. Well, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Um, what what's going on here? There is a lot of like I am just I'm watch I am watching. I just I am just banned from Facebook for three days. So hi everyone. <laughs> That's <laughs> really half of our fucking our, our female members are all barred from Facebook. Okay. I wonder what those crazy gals do for crying out loud. Posting man. all that sassy crazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ladies, sometimes you got to keep those comments to yourself. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, man. Now, you guys know at the end of the day, when we do our fucking battle labs, going off topic for a second, when members get into battle labs and become a warrior or dying, we get a sheet of paper. And the only rule on that sheet of paper is, gentlemen, no social media madness. That's the only one, right? Yeah. There's nothing else that tells you all the, the sites that visit, you know, the, which, which is our Facebook, which is our only members only fucking private Instagram, which is our Instagram, you know, join in, be part of the fam. But yeah, I tell you, <laughs> really, you're terrible. But at the end of the day, there's only one rule, no social. Which, uh, which uh, Instagram just said to? For Andrew. Border City Inc. You know what? I'll just say it to him from here. I got it right here. If you got his personal uh, Instagram, that'd be good. I'll just say it to his message right now. I'm, I'm, I'm here's, back into Instagram here. Here's the, the, the baby's eyes. I should put after up. After up. Yeah. This network. No, after up. <laughs> up. 50 baby. Jimbo style. What you're watching right now is a a little infant getting tattooed. A little baby. Or of Barry the Needle podcast. You can't hear the baby crying right now because we induced it with some red baby, wine and a blue. Watching this baby fucking grew up at Divine Inc. <laughs> I just said to add you the password on uh, on this thing. So anywho, what are we talking about? That's a I think being locked up in this house is fucking Maybe he gave consent, so don't worry about that, people. He said, yeah, yeah. Well, we got consent from the parents. <laughs> we got consent to tattoo the baby from the parents. What else you want? You guys see uh, Snoop Dogg gets paid to talk about this wonderful uh, water, right? You guys have this fucking thing? What is that? Anybody? Soda Stream? Soda Stream. Is that uh, Canadian Tire? I don't it know. doesn't matter where it comes from. It was on the Soda Stream. It comes from everywhere. Land drugs, Canadian Tire. Grab your tap water, give it a couple fizzes, throw it in the fridge, and now you got fucking uh, water that tastes amazing, and you're sick of all the money you're saving. All right. right? You spend 100 bucks on it. Yeah, you got to buy some helium once in a while. Just don't invite Kyle over to your house and you stay. And your tanks won't be empty, right? <laughs> fresh ink. <laughs> we gotta bring Kyle Fresh Ink on the on the show, um, Malcolm. Uh, that sounds good. Yeah, and then also I talked to Candy from uh, San Diego. I sent her a message today, and uh, we'll see what happens there. Anyway, I sent Andrew the information. We'll see what happens. She loves solar streams. All right. <sighs> Sending me some fucking perverted pictures too. Baby Billy, the perv. Billy's a perv. I love her though. Why don't one of you guys zoom in on that little baby? Yeah. 
We got to let's get Trev Cam. Yeah. Trev Cam to zoom in on the action. <laughs> go to go to YG Cam here. <laughs> so anyhow, Oliver, why are you sitting there taking advantage of a little baby? How's the shop doing up there? The shop is closed right now because I'm taking some time off. But I went fishing the other day. It was amazing. Okay, um, and ask about your fishing trip. How's the shop doing in general? You keep busy. Amazing, super busy. Got some guest artist Cam from Prince George is coming up. I seen that. She's coming here from the sixth to the thirteenth. Um, Speak clearly, buddy. I can't hear you. She's going to be here from the sixth to the thirteenth. Like yes. Uh, doing walk-ins. Oh, it's the switch. It's the switch on your neck. The red ring. Yeah. Sw the spin it. There you go. Hello. There you go, boy. There is a Oliver. So at the end of the day, is there a lot of walk-ins right now? Yeah. Because everybody understands whoever owns a shop. Yeah, we do have business in December, but December, January, February are always the slowest months. Maybe not for everybody because some artists are just so booked up and clients have to take the appointments when they come. We have a few of those artists ourselves, but at the end of the day, our walk-ins have become nilcho because of the COVID, the pandemic. You just can't have somebody walk in without, you know, understand that they have to go through the paperwork. They got to go through the fucking temperature. And also, you know, you can't just sit there and talk about an idea. What we do now is tell people, you want to do a walk-in, send the idea to the shop. We'll find you a spot. You send us a deposit. You come on in. You get it done. Don't come with anybody but yourself. And that's it because that's all we can do. And you know what? At the end of the day, when we do walk-ins, you know, you got those people that want to come walk in. They say, well, it's only a 15-minute tattoo. Well, at the end of the day, 15-minute tattoo is still $150 fucking dollars. You know what I'm saying? We got to set up. We got to clean out the COVID everything. My minimum now is 135 That's If I got to put a little cross the middle of your forehead, 135 But I'd rather not do walk-ins. I'd rather just do big pieces now for our, our artists. We're not going to say no to people's first tattoo, which are small, because I was going to be part of that first good idea. And I want to teach people about, you know, checking on their artists, you know, checking their work. Do your fucking homework before you get tattooed. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, though, tattoos are now part of the fashion world, right? And that's it. Every female, I just want to move this computer a bit because I don't need people zooming in on my personal pictures behind me, right? But like I said, at the end of the day, you know, um, you know, tattooing is part of the fashion world. And uh, we have a lot of young guys that come in. I'm not talking underage. I'm just talking young guys who come in for the full sleeves. They want the gangster looking ink. Everybody thinks that they look more intimidating, you know, with their tattoos. Well, remember some, my friend, tattoos don't intimidate me. Understand no, me? So if you're going to get a tattoo to intimidate people, you're getting it for the wrong idea. Always make the idea part of your life. You know, family, kids, friends, memories, good, bad, old, whatever it is, designs. I got a lot of Jesus Christ on me, Catholic stuff. I got a lot of East Van Crosses. I put a post up, what, a, a day ago about uh, how many East Van Crosses people think I have. And I highly doubt anybody has a fucking clue. So one of these days, I'm going to make it a cash cash contest, eh, Oliver? Yeah. And we'll do the last one. The one that I have my left nut will show last. <laughs> The testicle, it says testicle, the T is an East Van Cross. <laughs> All right. All right. But anyways, like I said, tattoo is becoming big nowadays. Hey, Rob, but also this COVID thing, uh, Oliver, Facebook, now, listen Rob. to this, Oliver. You have to agree that the COVID has actually shut down all the scratchers. Anybody that goes to a fucking apartment to a guy who doesn't have a shop, an autoclave, or a clean environment, they're still getting tattooed. I hope you get a disease, okay? I pray you get a disease. Because you're going to learn from one thing. <clears throat> you don't get your fucking cavities fixed in someone's garage. Knowing some people nowadays, probably. You know what I'm saying? You don't get your fucking uterus pulled out by Josh in his, ba in his basement. I would because I trust Josh. But I'm saying at the end of the day, tattoo artists need to be in tattoo shops with a fucking business license. If they don't got a business license or a health inspection... What the fuck are you doing there? Okay? I mean, I know these young kids nowadays all fell on their heads when they were born. They got no fucking work ethics and no discipline. We fucked around. We were kids. Pa-da-boom across the head. Now it's like, here, son, let me buy you a computer. 
No, son, you're a bad boy. I'm going to pull your computer away for 15 minutes so you stop crying. Fuck that, right. boy. Two by the four and whack him over the head. <laughs> <laughs> but anyhow, that's Rocco's talk. <laughs> Rocco talks. Oliver, did you see? Oh, the baby. Look at the little baby. <laughs> You're giving the kid face tattoos at a young age? Yeah. <laughs> That's another thing. Face tattoos. I mean, I'm not going to disrespect anybody with face tattoos, but what are you trying to hide? <laughs> That's what I understand. When these guys got these all these face tattoos, why are you trying to hide? Okay? Now, I understand. There you go again. I think face tattoos are attention tattoos. Okay, I don't have any yet. I can't hear you, Oliver. A face tattoo means I just don't care what you think about me. Well, I understand, Oliver. You got that that great attitude I love so much. <laughs> I love but I'm just saying, at the end of the day, I know, like I said, we're going to bring up the conversation. It's like Mad Child. He wants all these tattoos his face because it makes him look cool and tough. That's who he used to tell me. I said, "Kid, you're fucking stupid. You're a good-looking kid. Stop covering your face with tattoos." But some guys don't have the gangster in them, but they have to make themselves look like gangsters, right, guys? So I don't know. Face tattoos are a big thing for me. I mean, I try to talk people out of them, but if the guy's body's already covered, hey, I want to be the person that gives you the perfect face tattoo, right? Because that's a fucking touchy subject. I love girls. Like, if you if you like to go fishing and you like face tattoos. And long tattoos in the tattoo shop. And Oliver's looking for a date, you guys. I think he's like, this isn't fucking Tinder, buddy. This is bury the needle. <laughs> bury my needle. <laughs> he likes long walks along the river while he has his fishing rod in the river. <laughs> Anyways, another thing too, Malcolm, is hat tattoos. When people come in for their first tattoos. It's like this at my shop. No hands, no face, and no private parts on your first Morgan. tattoos. All right? That's how it goes. Right. But guys like Oliver doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, Sit down. Know. Give me your money. I'm tattooing you. Because there are some clients that don't give a shit what I say. And I always say to them, you want to go to another shop, go to another shop. I just don't want to be part of your story. Oh, where'd you get that tattoo on your face? Oh, from Waco, East Van Wear Tattoo Company. That doesn't, that's not good for me. And at the end of the day, I really, I'm not really worried about losing that tattoo. Because I guarantee you, that person will be coming back to me to get it lasered. Okay. Well, then you, that's why we work so well together, Rocco, because I you got that right, Oliver. Cha ching. Cha ching. I always tell people, I'm like, yo, you should, like, uh, I know guys can take that off, bro. I don't know. Maybe this Andrew's is starting to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just put a sticker on it first and see if they like it. Well, I know, like, uh, having tattoos beyond the business line for me. Uh, I started getting hand tattoos because I, I joined the uh, electrical union and I didn't have to worry about resumes anymore because, you know, they fucking, yes. they, they do the, they do the job hunting for you and they just call you in. Right. But recently I had to go through, I had to go back into the resume and job interview world again. And I did that with the tattoos I have, you know, on my neck and on my hands. And uh, at the end of the day, your, your attitude and work ethic speak for you beyond the ink that you have on your body right like the, at, the, at the end of the interview they didn't even care that i was covered in tattoos and that's changed a lot malcolm in the last uh, i would say in the last five years yeah oh yeah because that's what i try to explain to kids when they come in saying you understand that you're so young right now there are some big companies out there that still um basically it's it's a racist thing because why should you be gay? It's like when we were hiring a girl front end this is a, a funny story a girl from the front end came in for an interview, and I go, right on. I go, you know, so do you get tattoos? She goes, oh, yeah, I get tattooed, and I also got a lot of piercings. And I was like, I don't see any. And she's like, well, they're, they're my nose, my ears, my lips, and everything. I took them up to the job interview. So I go, why would you do that for? She goes, because most people don't hire. I said, we're a tattoo shop. <laughs> I said, fine. You want to see Put them it. back in. Put them back in, I said. I don't understand this. So people have to understand you need to go get a job as you and at the end of the day the employer sometimes won't look at the book of the cover the cover of the book understand they want to read the book right me me especially if i can find someone just comes in and knows how to do the job and do the great i don't care if they're tattooed all over the place as long as their 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 how you say it, their hygiene is high okay 
and uh, they know how to respect people. That's all that matters to me. But like I said, Malcolm, it's true. It can affect your your job. It can affect your future. So you need to be very careful. Yeah. Right. Careful about middle name. <laughs> <laughs> Oliver, a little parrot. <laughs> so, like I say, at the end of the day, um, I don't know. Malcolm, if uh, Andrew's jumping on, I sent him a message, you figure it out. I don't know. Maybe he's busy. Maybe yeah, he's it's not looking out. like it. He hasn't responded to me on Instagram. That's okay. We're so, still doing a show. People have to understand that the Bury the Needle is a show about tattoos, about tattoo shops, about tattoo clients, anything to do with tattoos. And if you want to ever jump on and ask a question, I mean, yeah, just if you want to get a tattoo here in Terrace um, and you're impatient, like I said, we got Tam coming in. She's going to be here for six days. She's got a few spots left. I think she's only booked three appointments so far. So she probably has, you know, five or six spots left. You want to get a tattoo this time around and feel free. To and what's your and what's your Instagram, Oliver? Um, the people can check it out. Yeah, who's got? You want me to tell you, Oliver? I have. I will pull the Instagram up on here and I'll screen share the site. Morocco is a dedicated follower. I got, a, I got a, a lot of artists. There's her Instagram right there. You see it? Yeah, Arsenal. Goodbye. Arsenal. So Tamara Arsenal. Tamara, is that, is that her tattoo one? Because she said she didn't want people looking at her personal page because she said she shares a lot of pictures of her butt. I see that now. <laughs> I uh, just stopped following her personal one, and I mean her tattoo <laughs> one, and went to her personal one. So, but she Actually, I don't have her. I don't have her tattoo one. So basically, at the end of the day, she got tattoos on here. Her, you got a lot of tattoos. So we just need and, to know. Uh, I really shop. like this oh, one with her and the girl in the bathtub. She works, for, she works <laughs> at a new tattoo shop in Prince. I really like the one with her and her girlfriend in the bathtub. She's a beautiful young lady. I commented on that one, Rock, and I said this photo is the spirit behind the reason I became a tattoo artist. <laughs> she seems to be a very good energy female, anyways. Anyways, I think she's going to do good up there. It's just like she's a very level-headed young lady. And like I said, Tam Arsenal. That's her tattoo page. I don't know. Find it. Look it up. Check her out. And get some ink from her up in the Divine Ink if you're in the Terrace area. She's a... Right? She's in she's the home with her friends. I like tubs and friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Barb. Don't show, don't show my child that page. He likes those fucking 19-year-olds. <laughs> You know why, though, right? Because they don't have conversation, and it makes them feel like a man. Oh, my God. Like he's so much. And they find out he's a fucking dickhead. Yeah. What can you do? For the Lord. Oh, yeah. Is that ink going to come off of the baby's head? All the... <laughs> Is that a question from our viewers? <laughs> <laughs> a little axe on that baby? Yeah. I'll do the man. No, the guy do the bottom camera, the one on the right. The camera, other camera. What the other camera? Two actors on there. That one, yeah, that one there. Yeah, that one there. YT cam. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. Good. Who's running that cam? YT? Yeah. That looks good, but you do a good camera work. Yeah. He's Oliver cleans his balls like that too, eh? You should turn your camera so it's a port landscape though, not portrait. There you there go. There you go. There you go. Oh, that's the meaning of portrait and landscape, eh? I was wondering what that meant. <laughs> yeah. Portrait, portrait is Corey. Yeah. Landscape is oh. YT. No. Oh, I see. Portrait. And Joseph well, anywho, in the back, creeping. So, um, in two weeks from now, Malcolm and yep. Oliver and the rest of the Wacky crew. That's going to be January the third, right? I believe no. so. Let's see. Let's, let's pull up this whole calendar here. January the 10th. January 10th. Yeah. So, January 10th, I'm going to try to get Candy in from San Diego. Yeah. She's uh, a member of the Battle Axe Global Art Society. Uh, she's also the division leader down in San Diego. And we'll get her on to talk about the tattoo industry down in the States right now and how they do stuff. I know it's really, really tough down there. I got tattooed down in the States a couple of times and uh, there's a lot of paperwork. Um, you got to sign this, you got to sign that, but 
I personally just think when I got tattooed by these people that they, not that they underpriced me, but, you know, I'm used to paying up here, you know, say 150 an hour, 200 bucks an hour. And when I get charged, you know, 50 bucks or 100 bucks, I'm like, fuck. You know, the tattoo took about an hour and a bit. But I'm like, fuck. I'm always like, you know, okay, here's 200, right? 225, whatever it is. But I just don't know why they do that. Maybe it's because they're so saturated, which is, you know. <laughs> but anyway, like I said, yeah, I just think it's like, maybe that's just. Sorry, Malk? A lot of tattoo shops popping up all over the place now, eh? So, so they're, yeah. they're trying to compete with prices, maybe? I don't know. Anybody that does that is, I think, is a piece of shit. Um, artists are amazing, the ones that understand the art and respect the art. Yeah. Not ones that just want to buy a machine and start tattooing people and think they're tattoo artists. I've seen it all. Yeah. You know, me and my brother have been uh, running tattoo shops for over 20 years. We're not artists, but we're collectors. I got over 80 tattoo artists on my body. Tattooed my body. 80. Not 8. Not 18. 8 zero. So don't tell me I don't know what I know about fucking tattooing. Check out What's that say? Vic City? <laughs> what does that say? Vic City Cross. Oh, Vic City. I see. Okay. <laughs> hey, uh, quick, quick shout out to uh, Susan, Aaron, and Ed in the chat there. All right. What's up, y'all? Pinky. Pinky. If you guys all know Billy's uh, listings, you can't see because it's been barred from <laughs> Fatch Book. But anyhow, um, what's this now? Aaron, they're getting this. What's up? All right. Sometimes. So, you got to. Okay, so, Mark, we're going to be doing the open mic in, at uh, 5 p.m. That's correct. Yep. And uh, we have a few guests on. But uh, it's too bad Andrew couldn't make it on. Maybe next time we'll see what happens. Some yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, work something out to get him on next next show. Yeah, well, the next show we're going to be we're moving forward with maybe Kyle or Candy. And if uh, he's available, we'll, we'll squeeze him in there. Not show up. Right, right. Candy, right. Kyle? Candy from uh, San Diego. And see if Fresh Shake wants to jump on and uh, tell us about, you know, his experience of, you know, being an artist and being busy and opening the books, closing the books. Like the guy's busy. I had him over here today for a cup of coffee. He actually brought me some coffee, but um, came over to visit because, like I said, I can't leave my property. What are you going to do? Okay, listen, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to have yourself something to eat before the next uh, podcast at 5 p.m. Um, okay. Corey, YT, Oliver, Malcolm, always a pleasure. I love being on this podcast. I love being part of um, the whole Axles Up uh, family when it comes to the Axles Up. Congratulations on the one year, brother. Good on you. One year, guys. One year. One year. And on the open mic, we're actually going to have an idea that Disengage brought across the table uh, to Malcolm. And Malcolm had me jump in on the meeting list, too. And I think it's a great idea. So you guys uh, who are watching now... Jump on open mic at 5 p.m. It's going to be live on the Battle Act Global Art Society page and the Axes Up podcast page, too. So, That's right. up in, send a message out to everybody and tell them to spend their day watching what we're doing. Okay, love you guys. Love and respect. Axes Up. Shalom. See you in the next one. See you in a bit. All right. So, you're gonna so does anybody have any baby requests? Baby cat request. Yeah, let's see some of those requests out there in listener land. There, YT is watching. <laughs> There's got YT tattoo request for all of it. So what? What? What, what is? How do you want us to? How do you want me to pr pronounce your name? Is it Whitey or YT? YT. Like it's a play on YT Ross. Yeah. Because yeah. I was thinking of Whitey Ford. Yeah, I was thinking yeah. like Rack actually. Ballers. Actually, you know what? When I first made the name, it actually had nothing to do with what, like. Whitey at all. Like, it never actually occurred to me until after the fact. Does, does it stand for Young Trevor? Yeah, Trevor that's, Young. Yeah. Trevor, yeah, that's what I thought, man. And my and my original rap name was Young T. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay. So then I played off that. Right, right. But you had to jump out of that game because there's too many rappers that are using Young in their name. Right? Yeah. Well, this is, this is before all these all these young ones. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they just start popping up everywhere. Yeah. It's like uh, Jack and my is what they're doing. It's like uh, <laughs> early mid two thousand was Lil, yeah, Lil Wayne, Lil <laughs> yeah. Lil Bow Wow, Lil Pump, 
Yeah. Fuck the old punk. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other kid, what the fuck's his name? He had a weird name. Like Uzi. Little, little Uzi Bird. Yeah, little there, Uzi yeah, Bird. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. It's my dog. Yeah. I don't know Susan, any of those cats. Susan says, Ollie, how about a diamond? No diamonds for this baby. Dude, oh, the next question. No diamonds. Right on top of the head, man. Come on. Yeah, well, baby diamond on the cheek, baby. I oh. challenge you to tattoo that pointy thing on her head. His head. Oh, now we Is it a head? Is it a boy or a girl, baby? It's gender neutral. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it would be weird if I was touching it. Wait, so what does it identify as? That's right. What? A gender neutral warrior baby from the fucking Amazon. <laughs> Whoa. Just born of two lesbian tattoo artists. That's very complicated. <laughs> the divine <laughs> inception? What do they call it? Divine inception. I guess, is there is there like even a limit to like how many things you can identify as like at once? 19. You know, like. <laughs> <laughs> That's the magic <laughs> number. Yeah. I'm a guy, I'm a girl. I'm yeah. A- uh, <laughs> mama, yeah, chimney. I'm a tank. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I try not to mess around in that world. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to. I, I try to use the proper vernacular so I don't piss them off, right? Because they're pretty vicious. They're pretty, they can, they can be mean <laughs> motherfuckers, man. That's if you okay. piss them off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just said the wrong word. I could be mean. Well, too. that's the thing. It was like you run a podcast and everything. You got to worry about being canceled, right? Yeah. I could be mean too if you want to. Uh, You'll be my muscle. I'll be convenient too. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's oh, baby. shout out to Willie in the chat. What's up, Willie? Willie P. All babies need to have Willie P. In the house. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so you got to be done that before. Let's, let's try to wrap it up at 4.30 okay. in 20 minutes. So we got a little buffer of time to kind of run out and unwind before it is up. So get your requests in, folks, and I'm, listener I'm, world. I'm foreshadowing. I'm putting for Ollie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, little oh no baby, if you hear this. I, I put rest in peace, little baby, on here by up. accident. So if you it's get up. shot, it's just yeah. prophecy, bro. Just put it well, You know what? Your game was done, Trevor. Sorry. No oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hot, whoa. Hot, hot. Too hot, too hot. That's good. That's, good. that's the problem. It's like this, it sounds fucking gnarly in our ears, but then when you go in to post to view it, it's like we're barely loud, and our guests that are zooming in are loud. Well, it's, the, it's, the, it's the room. Yeah. <laughs> we need uh, the r- r- room. Yeah. We need to hang some curtains. Foam everywhere. Curtains, just like heavy fabric curtains. Yeah. Right? And then the ceiling. Well, the ceiling actually would be... That's just foam, so that would that, that, that would that would absorb. We're gonna auction this baby off. Oh yeah, well, tell them about the auction. Yeah, they can start to the dollar. Yeah. One dollar. We have to pay Do I have pay. one dollar? Yeah. And Malcolm, turn me down a little bit more. It's pickup only. Check, 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 you check. Have to be able to pick up the okay. baby. Check, check, check. Up a little bit. Check, check, check. All right, that's good. Okay. Right. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm back. Mama, don't cry. Room reverb, Willie P said. Thank you, Willie P. Willie P is a sound guy. That yes. is a room reverb. That's a tattoo machine, Willie. Uh, well, he's, <laughs> he's, 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 he's talking about what? Not a glitch in the Matrix. <laughs> we need a proper studio area for this shit. That. You guys need to just come and put the work in, doggies. Yeah. Even if we can just get some sound absorbing foam and shit for the walls. Gotta order it. And you know, we get we need those cool foam things too that go around our mics like that, right? That would be cool. Yeah, if anyone bought a bunch of fridges, you just need that foam from inside the (laughs) box. Yeah, if you guys got if you guys have any old foam or anything, send it our way. (laughs) Just make sure it's not not dirty. Yeah, yeah, drop it off at Divine Ink Terrace. That's right. (laughs) Just order it from Wish. It's so cheap. <laughs> it's, it shows you, and then you get it. It's like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, did we say feet? We got 46 square inches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and everything you get it. I X'd out the private parts just in case it is. Hey, hey, Malcolm, you might have enough Velcro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you think you have enough Velcro? <laughs> I think so, yeah. <laughs> 
I went and bought a hundred pack of Velcro straps to strap up our mics and shit. Yeah. Yeah, like a hundred pack. Like you really needed a hundred pack. That's right. Like because <laughs> Velcro is like a fucking rare commodity. <laughs> We need some in here. I don't know what to put in. Malcolm didn't go for toilet paper. He went for Velcro. That's right. Try and bust a big hole. Try and bust a big hole. It gets it off easier. That's right, man. <laughs> well, what's the rest of the world gonna do when the Velcro runs out and all they have is toilet paper? They're gonna be bartering with me. Yep. Yeah. So we'll start wiping with Velcro. Yeah. How are, they gonna, how are they gonna get their shit together and keep it there? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you get your shit together with Velcro. We'll try the paper. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What are you drawing on right now? I'm just a little bit of a half me. All right. Let's go back to YT Vision for the. Yeah. Let's pull, pull up the YT cam and get right in there. Get right up in there. I want to see that needle breaking the plastic. It's like Plastic a skin. Of, this is a shrunken baby. This is the real deal. A little bit of a headband going on when I don't get my hand in the right. size of the baby. <laughs> Who's got that? What, what do they call that shit on there? Lidocaine? The numbing shit? Baby. Those are baby syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> the baby's heavily sedated right now. My protection. Yeah. No. Still awake till you see the eyes are open. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this, this baby's not going to pass out. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to. <laughs> Paralyzed from the head up, so you can't hear him screaming. Hey, Ollie, is that baby sitting well? He's sitting like a baby now, sleeping like a baby. I was just imagining that people that are viewing this that aren't really talking are just freaking the <laughs> fuck out. Like, <laughs> how could you do that to a baby? <laughs> Offended that we had to in a fucking hunk of plastic. Yeah, we, we can assure you that this baby is not living. No. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Hey, at least we're not kicking the baby, right? We don't kick babies here on the network. Oh, that could be the next one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't kick the baby. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that should be a, a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> kick the baby podcast? <laughs> we have to bring out our Ike voices? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a snake to ask the podcast. Yeah. And, yeah, past that. Ike will be the fucking what do you call it, the mascot. Yeah. Uh, oh, how cool would it be? If, like everybody here is involved in the podcast in some capacity. How fucking cool would it be to get like a caricature made up of you, like South Park? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, you as a South Park character. Do the app this network in South Park? Yeah, that type of shit. I'm always thinking about is like how to turn every, all the hosts into cartoon characters. And that would be cool. Then we could do shit with it too. Cartoons. You know. Promos. Yeah. yeah. You, you take a segment out of one of our podcasts and you animate it. You know, you add cartoons to it. Everybody has ever watched when people do that to the Joe Rogan's podcast? They turn it into cartoons, like little segments. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. It's very cool. It's on, it's usually on Instagram and it pops up once in a while. I don't know if this baby's got a lot of room left. We're about to see the feathers and affinity dots. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want it to be a bougie baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just a bluesy baby. A bluesy, bluesy. Can yeah. have you hang out with the other baby? Baby anchor bird. turning into an infinity knot. <laughs> feathers coming off it. Yeah. So it's forever. <laughs> <laughs> and then live, love, laugh. Yeah. Right underneath it. It's got love and hate tattoos. Go so die, hate, and cry. <laughs> I'm going to do a little stork carrying a baby. <laughs> We're getting any uh, recommendations out there. Let's We're see. out of room here. For Nothing this. really. No. Just a dime. Everyone's in shock. <laughs> what up, Micah? <laughs> Micah's out and listening to the world right now. Your world. I don't know if that's going to look like what I want to, but I'm imagining it is. Yeah, it is totally. Micah, how's it going, going out Karen there, brother? Make make sure you turn in the axes up at 5 p.m. to get to, to hear our big plans for the podcast. I think you're going to want to get in on it. Well, don't poke yourself for the first time on live air. We're going to do something about all this fucking spaghetti under the table. 
Yeah. Hey, you know what? Velcro uh, straps, huh? Yeah, yeah. Velcro at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we were supposed to think about that before the show. There, Malcolm. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's a little late now. I mean. We are going to have a bit of a break, so we might be able to fix that. Yeah, maybe we could do some disconnecting. There's not a whole lot of wires going on in there. It just, it just looks like shit. Right. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Air baby with a store behind my computer looks like <laughs> all the time. Oh, yeah. I hate it. <laughs> you know, like those, uh, those plastic <laughs> swirly yeah. things that kind of swirl around the cable like that and it keeps a bunch of them together? Those are cool. I did the good old fashioned. It's plugged in. I love how when they tell you something's wireless, <laughs> yeah. it's not wireless in any way. It's not wires, so. No. They need to learn how to do wireless power. They did. Nick went Tesla that figured it out years ago. <laughs> I have these are wires. Yeah. <laughs> like wireless electricity in your home. Like you don't have to plug your TV in anymore. It's you just, just you put it there. near like a thing that just radiates energy. That yes, everybody will complain the, about because they're complaining radiation. about five G. So. You know what I mean? Five G is radiation, isn't that so how four G? So Nobody like, said anything about four G. Like everybody, everybody wants like an advancement in technology, and then we just complain about it when just it arrives. Slower, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is too fast. I want, I want a flying vehicle, but it, it yeah. takes too much energy. <laughs> if if we had flying vehicles, this fucking whole world would be a shit show, man. Everybody would have to go back, and they'd have to not just go back to get man, license. They'd have to go back to pilot school. What do you mean? What do you mean our license? We've got Teslas to drive themselves. Like throw the license out the window. No, I'm talking bro. about. <laughs> I'm talking about taking to the sky with cars. That would be a shit show. Yeah, I still think I still think cars that drive themselves are a shit show too. Oh yeah, definitely. Cool. Like somebody cool. hacks your goddamn vehicle and boom, there you go into the truck. You like, crash hey, out, come. crash out, thinking you're going to like get a man. Hey, and then hey, wake some, up and you're I just read an article the other day that some guy, some guy got pulled over in the states because yeah. he fell asleep at the wheel and his vehicle was going like 150 miles per hour right. down the highway, <laughs> and he gets pulled over and. What do you do then? Yeah, oh, like, you're like, oh, the car was speeding, not me. Officer. Yeah, exactly. Like, like <laughs> yeah. I was scared. Still had to pay the ticket though. Like. <laughs> What do you do? What do you do? Okay, I've got an idea that I have to bring it to the symbols. <laughs> oh, yeah. Try a nose dia. Hey? He ran out of ideas. Try a nose dia. I told you to put <laughs> never tired. You know, like the opposite of, um, what's his name? What's I was going to get always hungry on my face. Post Malone. He's got never tired. He's got always tired. I was going to get always hungry. <laughs> Because babies never sleep, right? Fucking almost crying and waking up and shit. <laughs> this sick milk tattoo just reminded me. Milk? Yeah. Look at that. Just did a nipple. No, I don't do that on a baby. That's like inappropriate. Someone will complain. Did, we'll I get canceled. Very <laughs> the needle cancel after five episodes. <laughs> He's already done it. It's done. Oh, <laughs> shit. It's just it's done. milk, dog. <laughs> Man, just imagine if we did get tattoos as babies, like right? Yeah, it was so much cheaper that way. <laughs> <laughs> I could tattoo a whole baby in like three hours, probably. How? But like, you, you know, a... getting a tattoo as a kid, I get you know, you get your favorite Hot Wheels car tattoo right, on yeah. or something like that. Like, the ideas are different, and people won't look at you like, yeah, they won't look at you weird. Like, do you want to go wash this baby there, bro? Give, give the baby a bath. Take a picture of this nasty blue eye. <laughs> Beautiful. Go wash this baby. That's fantastic. Fantastic artwork. That baby is going to be the envy of everyone in the crib. <laughs> I just want to see when it grows up and all the blown out tattoos. Yeah, I was gonna. I was just about to ask you that, Oliver. How how was how would that work if it, let's say you got tattooed as a baby and you grew up and that tattoo just what does it blow the fuck out? Does it just? Yeah, I would stretch out like crazy. Yeah, it would be beautiful. Yeah, be way cheaper. Thick lines. Yeah. <laughs> Low res. There you Low go. Yeah, you get pixelated to be very pixelated. Yeah, young enough to get pixelated. And like... <laughs> oh fuck! We gotta touch this up. That's so you know you're good. I follow the image to the, to the point. Try, you do like try a super to an alcohol too, bro. Do a super tiny tattoo that you barely see and shit. And then as they get old, you'll be able to make out. What it says, <laughs> you know? yeah. Oh, it's a face. <laughs> Whoa! It says to Oreo grow into her. <laughs> Except there's a magnifying glass trying to tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> I already for some tattoos. How fine can you get? 
Like micro tattoos. I don't know. It has a pretty fire girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Get pretty fine. All right. Well, I guess we can wrap it up then. Huh? Wrap it up. This is Barry the Needle. And this is Barry the Needle. Over the Episode world. four. That's right. Sitting here with everybody. At uh-huh. Divining, we're the only sick thing we're doing is tattoos. Tell them who you are, fuckers. Let's go around the table. I'm Oliver. I'm the supreme leader of Divining. I am Trevor Young, also known as YT Rhymes. Hey, I'm Corey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the man with the master plan. And we got Josiah in the back. Finally got a baby. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, we, <laughs> yeah, we got to wait. Yeah, we got to wait. Yeah, we got to bring back the finished product of the baby that Josiah is bathing. Bathing the baby, baby bath. Change the diaper quickly. <laughs> yeah, bring me that. Put a diaper on the baby. Put on the baby. Put a diaper 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 on the baby. Ball view. All right, let's let's paint this baby. Can you give me a little bit of pencil stuff, maybe too? This baby's almost done. Right? Like, he's gonna have to go to the dishwasher, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Up for auction. Starting at a dollar. This baby's fresh. Fresh this baby's half back. And he's got a brother too. Grab me the brother. Straight out of the crib. Oh, it's got a brother too. Hold up. Or sister. Oh yeah. yo. This is the boy one for sure. And this is the girl one. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. That's how you tell it. Tattoos are more elegant. Yeah, it's so much finer lines. This one's got full of lines. Got the brother. We got the sister. Tattoo with a whole family over here. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was night, Better Than Needle episode four. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you in an hour or half an hour for Axis Up. Hey, Say bye, go. Josiah. Fuck this. Fuck this.